all right all right um hey guys coming through with another video on multi-tap gaming uh today we've got our usual guest the main resident guest and then we've got the drunken streamer <laughs> cj <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're in the business. And the best Xbox hater. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Today, the topic is basically going to be what our top three um, games <clears throat> of the generation have been so far. Today, we're going to focus on Am's and Andan's picks. So, take it away, guys. Okay, well, I don't know, Amlet, do you want to go first or should I go first? Um, pressure, well, pressure on that no. first pick. No, you can go first. <laughs> I have a feeling that we're going to have the same number one. Hello. But I think, I, I, I I think we'll have different. at least two. <laughs> we'll have at least two that are the same. I don't yeah. know. Mine are a bit, two of them are a bit out there. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our number threes. So... Okay. We'll, we'll find out together whether you guys think that <laughs> is actually the case and if it's actually true. So Number one let's start. Definitely. Let's start with um, let's start with Am's third choice. Okay. Top three. Me, yeah. yeah. Pressure. Okay. Um. Oh, there's been a lot of good games. Um. For my three, I decided to choose three games. One of them is just the best all round for me in every aspect. Mm. My third, I've chosen because not only is it a great game, it's a game I had fun with, and my second actually. So both my second and my third, I played them both at least three times. One of them I didn't actually complete, but I'll get to that later on. Okay. Um. So if, at number three, I have mm, drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> Infamous Second Son. The oh, first wow. ever game Ooh, on oh, PS4. Really? I, I, wow. knew you were gonna, I knew you were going to put this game in. I knew it. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this what? game. I can't The first that. ever game I played on PS4 was Infamous Second Zone. Um, and I played it three times at launch. And I've played it twice since then. Wow. The wow. game is just, it's so addictive. Once you start it, just keep going and up. Uh, I think there's something to say about a game that might not be technically as good as other games. Okay. I'll give it a 9, 9.5 out of 10. That's crazy. <laughs> Do you know what? Damn, they must have, let, me, let me just jump in. Let me just jump in. There's a lot in. of 10 out of 10s. Let me just jump <laughs> in with this. Out there. Let me just jump in with this, yeah. Go on. Because I know you guys are really excited for Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. And this just oh, proves okay. to me that... <laughs> The games that I think are so mid, <laughs> you guys think are actually good. So. No, no, no. I agree that if you're doing it fairly, the game's probably at 8, 8.5. Okay. Right. Fairly. But for me, because I played it so much and I had so much fun with it, it gets a boost. And that's why it's my third favorite game. Okay. So, if I'm right, is that the one? Because um, Infra's one had the male character as the main character and, the se and yeah. two had the female, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the third okay, infamous. Okay. Yeah, that the third infamous okay. is the one that he's talking about, and it, like uh, the girl one is an expansion of the third one. DLC. That's what it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, fair, fair. But that was yeah, that was my introduction to PS4 and boy. So, but, but you, you know what? Yeah. I enjoyed Infamous here, yeah, but my main issue is I paid that fifty-five pound for the game somewhere on PlayStation Plus here, yeah, yeah. and that game Oof. was short. Hey, big <laughs> spender, that game was short. Yeah, so, yeah, that yeah, game, yeah. That, nah, that game. That That's game probably why I played it list. five times. There were other games in <laughs> contention, but I I have to put that there because I have so much love for that game. That's fair. I, I, mm, like what? I, I get, what I, I, what yeah. is it about the game that you actually feel like? It's, is there it's, is it the combat fun. the the traversal? There are a lot of fun games like Mad Max was a fun game, not a ten out of ten. Um, mm, if I speak about that game, it wanted to delete my <laughs> it wanted to delete my data halfway through and told me to restart. Anyway, I threw that disc in in the bin. <laughs> Days Gone is another one, not a ten out of ten by any stretch, but very very fun. And I think like this was the game that wasn't the greatest. Out of all the games that weren't the greatest, but I had the most fun with by far. Okay. Yeah, You're a okay. superhero. It's just fun. I could have put Spider-Man there. Spider-Man's clearly a better game. That's how I'm but, thinking. But I played Spider-Man twice. 
Well, I started it the second time. I haven't completed it twice. Okay, that's that's fair okay. enough. All right, I'm gonna uh, borrow that one to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, do you want to give your third choice? Can you beat so, it? So, yeah. my third choice was was a bit close here, but my third choice is Spider Man. Yeah, I okay, see. Well, now we're talking. I was, yeah, I no that. superhero games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, no I, I could never put infamous no that's not even top five for me at all. No, no way. but but no spider-man yeah that that was a game and i mean considering the other spider-mans which were not necessarily the best in the world yeah but this was a proper game to be honest man yeah. what, for me had some of the best traversal great gameplay of this generation definitely and it was just a fun game to play to be honest you know and, um, don't judge me yeah, and this is a spoiler alert just in case you haven't watched it anyway. But but yeah, I might have shed a tear at the end of the game. Of course, oh, let's, not, let's, not, pretend. let's not pretend. Let's not pretend, guys. No, no, no. We all did. Shed one tear or two. It's all right. It is all right. But I was saying, no, for me, that game. Me. Yeah, yeah, that game was amazing. I remember when it first came out completed it and then when i think spider-man uh the film came out was it uh homecoming or something like that homecoming, or yeah, the, sec- the second one the, yeah. the second one where he's wearing the black suit that, was, that as soon as i got home that game back in the playstation we're gonna complete this one again yeah it was a good game man. Uh, yeah i love th- that game, this is this is how i can summarize that game for me personally i didn't oh, find gosh. out I know I didn't find out that there was a uh what's the word uh fast travel until I completed no. the game <laughs> until I completed the game like the traversal was so it. good bruh it was yeah. I didn't need it at all it was perfect yeah, yeah. like it was so I'm, fun just to I'm get so from place to place from one side of the street to the other just yeah. swimming it's just, it. it's just fantastic man so there's uh, days I turn my console and I don't even think I actually done any missions I just swung around for a bit <laughs> you know, sometimes like you want to go for a walk you might go for a walk or for a drive in GTA sometimes you just need to swing and I just, <laughs> I just okay, jump yeah, yeah. on go for a swing and you know look off just swing. Okay, um, yeah. so uh that's a that's a good start both as superhero games um mm. one a bit more shocking than the other but uh. <laughs> <laughs> um abs do you want to give your number two um yeah number two is a game that wasn't necessarily finished wow by okay. me or the developers <laughs> but it's from my favorite um game franchise ever and that's Mario Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Uh, okay. For me, that game, I haven't completed it once, but I've played about 20 to 30 hours three times. So there's something about that game which is just so fun. I think it's one of the most world-made games ever, not just of this mm. generation. The full mm. process that went into that game, from the way your player moves to the even the shooting, it's never been a top thing in Mario Solid, but they really got it down well on this one and i love that game every time i played it i feel that's crazy so uh, even if you you like the game so much but you never felt the need to finish it and for me for a top two game to not finish it that's that's uh well it's something strong. Always, it was either something always came along or because this game's released all the time so i always start it and i wouldn't finish it but i would always play over 20 hours and i've already played this stuff by the third time i've already played this stuff twice I'm still playing it again, doing it different ways, just having fun with it. And it, it was never not fun. I'm, mm. I'm sure at this point... I think point... the good thing about the game is that you can play it in so many different ways. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But um, at this point, I'm sure Am- Ams is doing it on purpose by putting right. these mid-ass <laughs> games <laughs> in his top <laughs> three right. and getting me angry. That was five of 10 out of 10. <laughs> It was 100% a 10 out of 10. No way, oh. that game. It just I, wasn't nah, finished. It just... It, it was game. universally a 10 out of 10. Mm, I don't know. Tony, ah. Tony, finish him. Finish him. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> I'm ready, I'm gonna, I'm ready I'm for it. I'm leave it. Let's, let's just uh, keep it cordial here. No, 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 no. But, uh, <laughs> and yeah. it's, it's aged well. A lot of the games that got 10 out of 10, people put in the top three, haven't aged well. That's true. I would say that mm. like games like The Witcher 3, which people would say is their game of the generation. Skyrim. Uh, that game hasn't aged well. That game has They aged terribly. Yeah, they have. They have. Well, 
that game. Berg and Solid has aged beautifully. I can say that. I can say that. But other than that, everything else is mid in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, and then, That's game you want, is so good. Everyone's into different things. And uh, do you wanna do you wanna give your number two? All right. So my number two. Well, this was a massive game, and um, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from it when it first got announced. To be honest, but um, yeah, the developers they pulled it off, and this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, yeah, yeah, another so, good um, choice. Okay. Yeah, or Tony thinks that's mid as well. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no there, is, there is no way. Uh, no, no, there is no way. But for this game, the amount of stuff that you can do, um. The pure size of the game i mean there's a point in the game that you think that you've completed it and it comes out like no there's so much more to do um just battling opponents there's so many ways to do it um whether being sneaky or whether playing it smart like it was a game that really made you think to be fair and um it was beautiful as well, as well man yeah I, yeah, you shed a tear for that one as well, did you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. There, there, was no, there, was no point, there was no points. There was no points, man. But it, it was a good game. You know, actually, I nearly did shed a tear. There was oh, a point. Yeah, the surprise, surprise. <laughs> that was no, a great You know game. why? Because I, I didn't realise here yeah, from the beginning, um, I was playing the game on ultra hard. So, obviously... <laughs> I thought I was, so I thought I was playing it hard. I thought I was playing it hard. So, I, I, obviously, I'm trying to complete the game, whatever. I'm doing the Frozen Worlds bit. And at the end, I've got the final boss to fight, whatever. And there's a weapon that I haven't collected yet. And um, what, whatever, yeah, I'm trying to fight it. I keep on losing. It took me four days to beat this flipping <laughs> bear, yeah. Four days after that, yeah. That's when, I, yeah. That nearly made me shed a tear. This, it took so long. But apart from that, um, the, the story was good, man. Yeah, it's a very good game, man. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, what we're going to do, I'm not actually sure if Ams is ready for this, but what we're going to do is give our um, honourable mentions. We're going to give our two honourable mentions. So uh, um, two games that we would basically have, want, put, yeah. basically have put in and around. It doesn't need to actually have a place, basically. Uh, See, but we would have put it in and around the, our top three. So uh, I'm gonna go with uh, um, Andan first, just to give Am um, some okay. time to give his to get his thoughts together. So um, okay, so I think this will probably be an honourable mention for a lot of people. But this one is Red Dead Two. Um, yeah, for for me, when I first started playing the game, this was so slow. And I remember telling Amlet that like, I hate this game so much. It's <laughs> so slow. But um, after probably, I think, chapter one or chapter two, it starts to get a bit quicker. And um, yeah, the game's so fast paced after that. And it's such an interesting story. And it's a good game, man. Yeah, so that is one of my honorable mentions. And the other one, and you, you lot can't judge me as well. Okay, this is a safe space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cooking Mama oh, too. <laughs> <laughs> My second game is FIFA 18. <laughs> wow. That's even worse than what I said. <laughs> wow. Honorable <laughs> mention. Oh, have some self-respect, man. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh oh, I, I don't even know why I enjoy this game so much because I, I, I genuinely do not like the way the game has been going yeah. um, the way EA have been pushing all the team and pushing buying cards and all of that kind of stuff yeah. I, I hate it so much but um, I don't know I, I just really enjoy that game to be honest you, I enjoy you, you Pro let me tell you why you enjoyed it. Oh, you used to kill everybody's children <laughs> of the game. <laughs> Sending people to bed in tears. Just disrespectful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was like, it was, he, had a, he had a cheat code. And if anyone wants no. to know, Anda, Anda, Anda has a cheat code to FIFA. We don't know what it is yet. Oh He's not gosh. prepared to share it, but yeah. No, I, don't I, don't know. That, man. I, just, I enjoy that game. It's most of a FIFA, so I mean, I'll play it for about three, four months and then there'll be a long break. Yeah. But I think this game from September to next September, I think I played it. 
Mm-hmm. All the time, yeah. So, so yeah, that is an honourable mention for me. What, what was it about <laughs> that one that you, in particular? Like... I, I, I generally think it's because that's probably where my record was the best. And <laughs> <laughs> he's a yeah, serial oh, killer. Would you, serial killers <laughs> like to murder. <laughs> he got to murder people religiously <laughs> on that game. <laughs> what did he like it? Oh my days! I, I can't even explain it. I, I think it's literally because my record was was good. Um, mm. Yeah. Apart from that, probably the time when I was playing it as well, maybe the people I was playing with as well, and stuff like that. So yeah, but yeah, that's that's an honourable mention. It should okay. be. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. fair. Yeah. I don't even Three need four. to diss you. I think you've dissed yourself <laughs> enough to be honest. So <laughs> we're gonna move on to <laughs> Amalek or Ams. Um, He's gonna my give first his honourable mention. Um, is another EA game, and it was my game of the year last year, okay. and that's Jedi Fallen Order. Yep. Yep. Um, mm. big reasons because I didn't expect EA to do a good Star Wars game and I never really expected to play a good Star Wars game ever again but yeah I had a lot of fun with that game I'm going to go back into it for their new game plus soon and so, uh, yeah. they recently added some new content as well so yeah you can something break to look some challenge to, modes yeah something to look yeah, to. it looks it's such a good game what? um what was it? Is it a combat? Because it's close to Dark the combat, Souls and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was better than Dark Souls. Oh, wow. Um, really? I love Dark Souls. People would. But one thing I said, the, that, com- you know. <laughs> the combat is very... It's very technical. Yeah. So, like, when you're playing, play against player, there's a lot of skill involved. But in terms of combat style, it's not the best combat ever. No, I don't think. What like the parry? They they bettered it in Sekiro. Like the parrying and everything was better in Sekiro than instead of being in Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Yeah, they're just fun technical games. That's why they're fun, not because the combat's beautiful. I don't think. Yeah, that that game's combat is a. Uh, it's very. It's not what you would think Star Wars would be, where you could just slice through mm. everything. You actually yeah. need to take care, distance yourself, yeah, position yourself yeah. more. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that game was. I like that about it. Yeah. I didn't want to just tear for everyone. Yeah, that's fair enough. And your second choice? My second choice is the game that should have been number three on my list. <laughs> uh, probably well. number number two. No, no, no I like Metal Gear Solid should be number two. But this game should have been number three. I took it off because I took enjoyment into... Well, no, that's not... I took it off because I wanted to sh- show some love to Infamous. And... But this game is it's just amazing and it's an experience from start to finish. Um, I often play games with YouTube on in front of me. This game, nothing's on. It's just the game. Me mm. facing it, headset on, hearing everything in it. Um, and that game is Uncharted 4. Gosh, can we can we just swap your your honorable choices for your actual choices, please? <laughs> now you're using I'm, sense. I'm trying for words with my third up until maybe ten minutes before we started, and I thought, nah, infamous needs some love, man. Nah, sometimes but I know I we could... just want to wind us up, <laughs> but that could easily be top two games of this gener of this generation easily. Okay, I I have no disagreements. No, that that game speaks for itself. To be honest, anyone else? Any, anything? I I enjoyed on Chat Four. That the scene with um driving the car, I oh think in Madagascar. Gosh. Yeah, that scene, absolutely madness. Yeah, madness. absolute yeah. scenes, Jeff. Yeah. Absolute that, scenes. I, I, honestly, that <laughs> that was absolute scenes. Like that 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 scene right there is what kind of makes it where it's like okay because we're experiencing this this is better than any film could even try to reach yeah. do you know what i mean so crazy yeah, yeah it's just it's madness to be honest yeah um, and as a I, whole as a, as a as a game as a whole going through each one it's probably one of the best improved games going along yeah. the way mm-hmm. um just being consistent with you know good game starting out and sometimes these kind of games they get boring, they get played out. You you don't really want to yeah. do them anymore. But you know, four levels, four games in, and they're still mm. going well. We're still going strong. Yeah. So yeah, good game, good game. Definitely. It should have been in the list. 
<laughs> Chris Jericho probably said, you just made the list. <laughs> <laughs> I show love for Delson. Infamous is so fun. But, um, well, Uncharted is a better game, clearly. But getting straight into our number ones, I'm going to go with Ams first. This is his game okay. of the year. I mean, game of the generation, actually. So I've, over this, the last yeah. seven years, he mm. believes this is the best one. So this game absolutely blew every game in history out of the war. I think mm-hmm. they done something that's I don't know how they done it. Um, this guy, this guy talk they about set such God. a high standard. <laughs> <laughs> Such a high standard of gaming that I Dirt don't four. think has been matched before. No. I don't think it's been matched since. Um, I think Andam will agree with me when I say this that the best game of this generation and ever is Watch Dogs One. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, done. I'm joking, but I'm, 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 I'm coming off. <laughs> I almost threw that up. I actually almost threw it. <laughs> if you didn't say it, I'm joking, I would have I would have collapsed. <laughs> oh man. Oh, the best God. game ever is God of War PS4. That game oh, okay. absolutely mm. amazing. I didn't put it down from start to finish and I played it more than once. Uh, it's, uh, there's not much I can say about it. It's just play it. If you haven't played it, play it. And uh, played it, play again. And then just to, yeah, uh, just to, just to confirm, is that also your game of the generation as well, or because no, then you can discuss I it? Oh no, no, don't you know, no, 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 don't tell us, us. if it's not, if it's yeah, not. Yeah, then. No, that's alright. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Like, that's that's fine. Like, I was just thinking there. if it was the same, we could yeah. discuss all together. But mm. that's fair enough. Okay. I, I, I'll um, tell you what I chose. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's let, let, yeah, let, let him um, elaborate a little bit more because I know he really wants to dive deep in this one. So we'll let him have a go. Come on, Abs. What are you saying? I feel like and that's true it's the same game. It'll be a trap. <laughs> it's it's the, the best, best game ever. <laughs> but my, my, my game is called Dad Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it has to be God of War, man. Yeah, oh, fair. Okay. Yeah. That's that's fair enough. Okay, so um did you guys want to discuss how you felt about it? Like, w- what was it that made it makes it the game of the generation? What did it do that just w- is unmatched by any other game? I think a big part of its success, its success was expectation. Okay. Because if you've played God of War before, you go in expecting a hack and slash. And this game was very... It wasn't just about going crazy. Your moves had to be considered... Um, it was a very well thought out game with a strong story. Um, the last games were just about killing and being angry. They brought a lot of emotion into the story. So it just gripped you the whole way through. You were okay. seeing a character that was very, I don't know if he's one dimensional, but he was just angry all the time before. And there were so many yeah. layers added to him this game. It was just, yes, yeah, it's, it's a wonder of game development. I smell tears I coming on again. I can, I can smell the tears from here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't have tears. I, 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 yeah, so, so, I, I didn't even play the previous God of Wars. Um, but I already kind of knew about God of War 1 and 2, 3. But this God of War, the, some of the scenes and some of the moments in this game, yeah, just yeah, truly, truly amazing, man. Uh, I mean... Was, well, this is a bit of a spoiler, but um, when he, when Atreus becomes um, ill and um, Kratos goes back to get the Blades of Chaos, that scene, just sitting there in pure silence yeah. and just listening to to the thunder and the lightning, whilst he's, <laughs> you, you know, he's getting into his bag. Everyone has to die now. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I was red. I, I didn't even know what was coming up here, but I was ready to kill somebody. Honestly, yeah. But yeah, there, there are just so many scenes, man. Even from fighting the stranger the first time, then the second time, then the third time. Mm-hmm. Where, yeah, it was, yeah, it was amazing, amazing game. Okay. And I don't think there's, I don't think there's any game that's better than it this generation. I mean, I'm up there. No, we know. Uh... 
<laughs> I, I won't, I won't, because I'm, I'm ready to be bad, but I won't, I won't. I'll keep it, I'll, I'll keep it stum for now. Okay. I'll keep it stum, but no, it's a yeah, great game. Good good choice there, I believe, from the both of you. I'm not surprised, really. That's that. Yeah, I'm not surprised either, to be honest with you. Um, uh, cool, good list there from uh, Ams and Andan. Uh, next week, we're going to throw in, we'll be myself, CJ and Tony, Chooks. Uh, we'll go in and give our list and see how it goes. Uh, if everyone liked the video, obviously feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, there's going to be content. We're looking to do content at least five times a week. Uh, be streaming again on Mondays at 8 p.m. Uh, we'll discuss whether we're going to move from YouTube to Twitch. Uh, we'll see how it goes and we'll get some good clips in there as well. Uh, add your comments to the below. Tell us what your top three are going to be. And uh, we'll also have a discussion around that as well if, uh, if we get the chance. Uh, but yeah, it'd be good to see what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, tune in next week. And nice to meet you. Peace. Peace. Peace.